In today's video, we'll talk about how to fix Windows 11 slow and lagging problem. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'll show you some of the ways that you can perform or you can try out to make your Windows 11 to work faster. So for the first trick or for the first way, open your setting and then go to your privacy and security section. Under the Windows permission section, we have general. Just open it and turn off everything. Well, why we are turning all these off, I will talk about it in a little bit of while. Go back, do the same with speech permission, again go back and repeat same thing with all those permission that you want to turn off. If you scroll down, down here we have apps permission. Earlier we had windows permissions. Now we have app permissions. Open your location, turn it off and then go back. Then you have your camera, microphone, voice activation, notification and many other things. Well, we are turning all these off because these are some services that runs in the background. And obviously, when these services run in the background, they consume a lot of hardware resources. For example, they might consume your RAM and they will also consume your hard drive space. And because of that, rest of the system will have less number of resources to work with. And eventually, your Windows 11 will tend to perform a bit slower and it will lag in performance. That was all about for the first trick. And now let's move on to the next one. For the next one, again open your settings and this time go to your app section. After that, go to your startup and here we have all those applications that get start with our booting up of our Windows 11. For example, we have Cortana, Microsoft Edge, OneDrive, Microsoft Teams and many other things. Basically, when you turn on your Windows 11, these applications or some of these services also starts with your Windows 11. And even if you do not want to use it, they keep on running in the background. You can turn these off. For example, I will turn off my Microsoft Edge because I only want to turn it on when I want to use it. Then I'll do the same with Microsoft OneDrive and with Microsoft Team as well. And now as these are off, now my system have more resources as free one and rest of the system can use those resources and obviously Windows 11 now will not lag in terms of the performance. For the next trick, again open your setting and this time just search for power. Here we have an option with power sleep and battery settings so just go with this one and here in the power mode my system is set for best power efficiency. If you just click on this drop down arrow here we have two more options like balanced and best performance. At the moment, my system will not perform better because it is in power efficiency mode. If I want better performance out of my Windows 11, I should go with best performance. Although it will compromise on battery means it will consume a little bit more than the usual, but I do not care about it because I want best performance and I do not want my Windows 11 to lag. So that is why you should also go with best performance. For the next trick, again, go to your settings and this time go to your personalization section. And then if you scroll down, here we have device usage. Just click on it. So these are some of the section where my device can get used. At the moment, it is being getting used for all these sections, which are business, entertainment, school, creativity, family, and gaming. As I use this system only for my work, that is why I do not want my device to be used for gaming, for creativity, for entertainment and I will go with the school as well. And I only want to use this device for my family and business concern. Now my Windows 11 will have more space to work with and it will have more resources to make my system work faster. For the next trick, again open your setting and this time go to your apps and click on apps and features. Here we have all those application that you will install and you have installed into your system. And there are some moments when you have some of the application installed and you do not use it anymore, but they still reside in the system and they use some of the system hardware resources by running in the background or by having their services running in the background. 
so what you can do you can uninstall those application which you do not use anymore for example just click on this three dot option menu button and from here just click on uninstall and this application will get uninstalled from your system and now you will have more resources to work with for the next trick again open your settings and this time go to your notification section just click on it and here you will have all those applications and all those services that will be sending notifications to you and obviously this service will be using some resources from my system and i do not want to have those notification which are not useful at the moment i do not have lot of application installed that is why i only have these four applications you can turn these off or in case if you do not want to have any notification at all you can turn off the parent option that is this one and now none of the application will be able to send me any notification and obviously when there are no notifications it means i have more resources which are free and my windows 11 have the ability and freedom to work with those system resources and make my system work faster for the next trick just search for sysdm.cpl into your system it is the control panel item just open this one and from here go to your advanced option then open your settings from here go with the option that says adjust for best performance again as i had shown you earlier that how you can change your power mode with best performance come here and again set your system for best performance now i do not want my system to have best appearance or i do not want my windows to choose what is best for my computer i only want to have best performance out of my windows 11 and i want to make sure that my system do not lag so that is why i'll go with the adjust for best performance option after that click on apply and then click on ok right now my system may consume a lot of resources or it may compromise on the appearance section but i do not care about it i only want the best performance for the next trick search for defragmentation or just right here defrag and it will show you this option just click on this one and select the drive which you want to clean or optimize i'll go with the c and just click on optimize it will start the process to optimize my c drive here you can see the process and we are good to go now i will just close this one and now open your file manager or file explorer after that go to your this pc right click on your c drive and from here go to its properties after that click on disk cleanup it will clean up your disk and it will show you some of the subdirectories for example you can clean up your recycle bin then you have delivery optimization files direct x and many other things so select all those subdirectories and then just click on ok and now your system will clean up all those unnecessary files for the next tick you just need to press windows plus r key and in here just write percentage temp percentage hit enter it will open a directory for you these are all the temporary files which are residing into my system and some of them are forcing my system to work slower and lag what you can do you can select all of them and you can delete and now my system has more resources to work with and my system will perform much faster for the last trick again press windows plus r key and this time you just need to write temp without the percentages just hit enter and again it will open some of the directories for you so these are some of the more temporary files that i can delete from my system and obviously these files will release number of resources for my windows 11 to work with so i will select all of them and i will delete all of them and now my system performance will improve and we are done with all the tips and tricks that we can perform on our windows 11 to make it work faster and get rid of a lagging problem and that brings us to the end of today's video. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.